Hi, I'm Beth Gaisley. I'm a professor at the Paul O'Neill School of Public and Environmental Affairs at Indiana University Bloomington. Well, so when humanitarian crises strike, as they are in Ukraine right now, humans tend to be very generous with their support. That's a wonderful thing. Um, but my advice would be to give with, give with your head as well as your heart. Impulse giving can cause you to end up giving money away that you decide is not effective in the end. It might even cause you to get scammed. So we want to avoid that. Do your research, independently verify crowdfunding and social media requests. Check the names of organizations soliciting your help with the Internal Revenue Service website um, because scam artists often will use a name close to the name of a real charity. Um, one of the things we always advise is that you use charity rating of agencies. They'll help you understand whether they consider charities to be high performing. The problem is a lot of them are using outdated assumptions about um, that charities with the lowest overhead, which are non-programmatic costs, are going to be the most efficient. And the research has proven this to be untrue. So a few sites like Candid GuideStar have started to evaluate charities on the basis of broader performance metrics, such as transparency, good governance practices, and actual outcomes. And so I recommend that you look for those kinds of sites as you're evaluating charities. Uh, one of my top picks would be the International Committee of the Red Cross because it supports the Ukrainian Red Cross. It has um, you know, the full faith and credibility of the people of Ukraine across the ground and it's operating um, across the country wherever it's able to do so. My last piece of advice would be the more you read, the more informed your giving will be. Every crisis is different. In this particular case, one of the things we have to address in addition to the humanitarian crisis is Russian efforts at disinformation. So I've been interested in uh, Kiev Independent, which is an independent media outlet based in Ukraine, which is working to address some of the uh, disinformation campaigns that have so distorted the political situation and they need support.